e-commerce store owner, then you must thought of promoting on online marketplaces to get your expected exposure. But listing our products manually is pretty daunting, right? Here's another problem. Each of these marketplaces requires a specific format to list your products on their merchant center. But don't you worry. Today, I'll show you an effective solution for this, which is the plugin Product Manager for WooCommerce. Hey everyone, this is Sadia from Product Manager, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the plugin Product Manager for WooCommerce. The Product Feed Manager for WooCommerce is a reliable plugin that allows you to generate product feed accurately for large online marketplaces. And the best part is, its super simple user interface lets you generate feed in just a few clicks. So before showing you how you can do that, let me give you a quick overview for it. When you have installed and activated the plugin, it will take you to the plugin's welcome page. Here, you can take a guided tour of the plugin or you can start generating the fees right away. Now, if you have a look at the WordPress dashboard, you will see the product feed icon over here. If I click on this, it will take me to the page called All Product Feeds. Now, all the product feeds you have generated will be listed on this page. From here, you can view the feed download it, copy the feed link, or you can edit the feed if you want to make any changes. The next option you see here is the add new feed. This is where you'll click when you want to generate a new feed. I'll show you how to use this later in this video. Moving on to the next option which is category mapping. Now using the category mapping feature, you can map your WooCommerce product categories according to the categories of your design marketplace without making any changes to the actual categories of your store. You don't have to worry about this now because I'll make a separate video explaining this feature. Alright, the next option you see here is the Google Merchant settings. This is the section where you authenticate the Product Manager for WooCommerce plugin with the Google Merchant Center. For that, you need to configure it over here. First, collect the credentials from Google Merchant Center, put it over here, and then authenticate. I'll leave a guide at the description box below so you can find out how exactly you can do this. Next, you see here is the settings tab. So here in the first tab you see is the controls tab. This tab shows some important plugin settings options. For example, you can export the feed from here or enable the option to use custom fields. If you move to the merchants option, you'll get the supported merchant list for generating the product feed. The next tab is the system status tab. This tab shows the system data of your site. For example, you can see the WordPress memory limit, PHP version, or you can find the active plugin list with their latest and installed versions information. So if you have any backdated plugin version, you can always find the information here. The last tab is the logs tab. This tab fetches the WooCommerce error logs and show them over here. So when you face any error in the plugin such as 500 error or server error, you can always come to this tab and get the WooCommerce log. Alright, so if you open the support tab, it will take you to our website to open support tickets. Okay. Next you see is the license tab. You'll only get this option if you have the pro version installed and activated. So you need to put the pro license over here and activate it when you purchase the pro version of the Product Manager for WooCommerce plugin. Lastly you see here is the get started tab. This is basically the plugin's welcome page which I showed to you earlier. Now that I have explained all the basics of the plugin, it's time to show you how you can quickly generate a product feed. So to do that, click on the add new feed option. It will take you to the plugin's feed creation page. Firstly, you need to set here a feed title. 
I'm just giving it a title here. Now from the drop down, select your preferred merchant where you want to promote your WooCommerce products on, let's say Google Shopping. So once you select it, all the required attributes of Google Shopping will be listed below. As you can see, almost everything is already configured. You just need to assign right values with any unmapped attributes with the right product data. For example, let's see the manufacturer brand. This should be your brand name. So if you have any brand value say for your products in your WooCommerce store, you can choose the option from this drop down menu. But if you are the sole manufacturer, select this option aesthetic and put your company name over here. All right. Now, if you see the Google product category option, you see that the default category mapper is already assigned to this attribute. You can click on this configure category mapping option to configure the default category mapper. So once you're done with mapping the attributes, your feed is pretty much ready. So before publishing the feed, let me show you the product filter and settings options. If you go to the product filter, you'll get this filter options. You can use these filter options to include or exclude any uh, products to your feed template. Okay, you can also add feed rules or customize any filter as per your need. Now, if I go to the settings option, the settings are already pre-configured, but you can always change them if you need to. Here you see the auto generation option. You can set the auto generation time and your feed will be updated according to the refresh interval. Okay. So once you're done with all the filter and settings option, it's time to publish the feed. For that, just click on the publish button. Okay, it says I need I have already used the title, so I'm just gonna change the title here and publish it. And then your feed will start generating. Now the feed generation duration depends on how much products you have. So once the loading is completed, your feed is ready. You can now download the feed, view the feed, and copy the feed link. Let's have a look at it. Okay. Now the next step is to upload the feed to your merchant panel. For Google, you can manually upload the feed to Google Merchant Center or you can use our AutoSync with Google Merchant Center feature to submit your feed to the Google Merchant Center. I'll make a separate video how you can do that. So you just saw how easily you can generate a product feed for your desired online marketplace. So what are you waiting for? Start using Product Feed Manager for WooCommerce now and start driving more sales.